Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about the fundamental property of logarithms. And this should be relatively fast and simple. And what it states is this. Log base b of b to the x is equal to x. And to kind of show you an example, uh, putting this into use would be in a problem like this. Log base 2 of 8 can be written as log base 2 of 2 cubed, okay? That's equal to 3. See? 2 to the third power equals 8. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm rewriting the 8 as 2 cubed, okay? So that way these 2's cancel out as, as well as the word log, and all you're left with is a 3. Okay, so let's do another example. What if we have log base 4 of 16. Okay, well this can be written this way. Log base 4 of 4 squared. These two are the same here, so all you're left with is a 2. How about this? Log base 3 of 27. Well this can be written as log base 3 of 3 cubed, right? So these two 3's cancel out and you're left with is 3. Now how about this one? How about log base 6 of 1? Okay, well, this can be written as 6 to what power gives you 1? Well, any number raised to the 0 power equals 1. So, in this case here, it'd be log base 6 of 6 to the 0 power. Okay, this 1 can be written as 6 to the 0 power. In this case here, the 6 is cancel, and you're left with the 0. Okay, because 6 to the 0 power is equal to 1. All right, let's do some more examples. What if we have log base 2 of 1 fourth? Okay, first of all, let's see something here. 2 to what power is 1 fourth? You can kind of say it like this. 2 to what power is 1 fourth? Well, what if we change this 4 here to a power of 2? So in this case here, 2 to the x is equal to 1 over 2 squared, right? And so what happens if I bring 2 squared up to the top? The exponent becomes negative, right? So I get 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the negative 2. 2 is cancel, so, so this is negative 2. So in that case, 2 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 fourth. So I could write this as log base 2 of 2 to the negative 2. And the answer here would be negative 2. 2 is cancel, right? See what I did here? All I did was I wrote the 1 fourth as 2 to the negative 2, right? Okay, I'll do another one exactly like that. What if we have log base 3 of 1 ninth? Okay, this can be written as log base 3 of 3 to the some power, right? So that power would be this. Let's say, for instance, we have 3 to the x. It's equal to 1 over 9, right? So 3 to the x can be written as 1 over 3 squared. And 3 to the x is equal to bring the 3 squared up, and you get 3 to the negative 2. Bases are the same, so the exponent is negative 2, so negative 2. Okay. Simple, right? Okay. So what if we have something like this now? What if we have log base 6 of the square root of 6? Okay, now before we go on, let me see, maybe you may not remember this, but here's a, this is recall time. P to the M over N is equal to nth power of P raised to the M. So to give you an example, what if we have 6 to some power is equal to basically the square root of 6 all raised to the 1 power, right? because that's what the square root of 6 is. Well, in this case here, m would be 1, and n would be the 2. So 6 to the 1 half. Okay? So this can be written like this. Log base 6 of 6 to the 1 half. So let's just do a few more examples to kind of get the idea. So log base 8 of, 
uh, 1 over 512. Okay, so this can be written as log base 8 of, well, let's see what 1, one over 512 is. So 8 to the x is equal to 1 over 512. So 8 to the x is equal to 1 over 8 raised to the third power. And in this case here, um, 8 to the x is equal to 8 to the negative 3. So that means that log base 8 of 1 over 512 is equal to log base 8 of 8 to the negative 3, which makes this equal to negative 3. Okay, and the answer up here actually is 1 half. Okay, and how about another example? How about log base 10 of 0 0.00001? Okay, well, let's see. This is 10 raised to some power, basically. Okay, so we know that. So we can write log base 10. And actually, you know what? I'm going to use this as an example. Uh, to tell you that when someone says, hey, take the log of a number, they're basically saying take log base 10 of that number. So, like, let's just say, for instance, log base 10 of uh, 100 is equal to log of 100, which is equal to 10 to what power is 100? Well, 2. All right? So, you don't have to write the 10 here, but if you don't have the 10 written, it's under. if you have just the word log and there's nothing there down here, it's just understood that there's an invisible 10 right there all the time, okay? So in this case here, you know, there, we didn't write the 10. It's just log of 100 is equal to 2. Anyway, here, uh, this right here, ba let me get rid of this over here. I don't need this. So basically you have log base 10 of some number gives you this decimal point. Well, let's see. What do we got here? Point zero 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 one. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five. So in this case here, we moved five places. So this will be ten to the negative five, right? And that'll be equal to this right here. So that would be equal to point zero 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 one. Okay, cool. So now that we know that, we can say that 10 raised to uh, the negative fifth power is equal to log base 10 of 0 0.00001. So the answer here would be negative 5. Okay? And one more example. Let's say we have log base. 9 of 1 over 81. Let's see if you get it. 1 over 81. What's the log base 9 of 1 over 81? 9 squared is 81, right? So in that case, move the 9 squared up to the top, and you get, you know, 9 to the negative 2, right? Log base 9 of 9 to the negative 2 is equal to negative 2. So that's what this is equal to, okay? Sometimes it's not so simple to see it. That's the reason why you're taught this, because sometimes it's not so simple to see log 9 of 1 over you know, 81, log base 9 of 1 over 81. Sometimes you have to rewrite this in such a way that it looks a little bit easier. So now these are the same, and so your answer is negative 2. Okay? So that's kind of the basic idea with all these problems. You're going to be given the log of a number, and sometimes that number isn't that simple to, to figure out like in the case of these fractional ones here. See, it's really not as easy to see. Sometimes you have to rewrite it so that way there's an exponent to it. And then your answer basically is the exponent. And the idea is this. You're taking the, the, log, the number you're taking the log of, rewriting that number as a number and an exponent, as a base and an exponent. See, this becomes that. This becomes that. One becomes that. One fourth becomes this. One ninth becomes that right there. All these, all these examples that I'm doing here, basically all that we're doing is just changing the look of the number we're taking the log of. Okay, because this isn't that simple to see. You know, log base eight of one over five twelve. 
Well, it's not quite that simple, but if it's when it's written like this, then it is simple. You see, and that's that's the basic idea here. You know, that's the basic idea. We just I just want you to see, you know, how some of these problems are not as difficult as they appear to be. You know, especially when it comes to fractions. So anyway, um, this was the basic idea, and uh, I hope that this um, kind of helped out a little bit. So make sure to check for the other videos on logarithms, and thank you for watching.